Right, welcome back guys. It is scorching today. I'm cooking like a roast chicken in here, so I'm gonna make this one short. Uh, we all know defenders are noisy as hell. That's just a given, but there's nothing stopping you from quieting them down a little bit by using sound deadening. And it's relatively affordable to do that as well. Now, defenders are pretty much just tin boxes really, aren't they? There's just big metal panels everywhere and metal panels do vibrate very easily. So you need to use sound deadening sheets and that will really help to absorb the, um, the vibrations. And it makes a noticeable difference in quieting the car down when you're driving it around. Now, the best way to demonstrate this is literally just to show you or at least let you hear and a good place to start is the rear passenger footwell it's just when you strip it all back you'll notice it's just nothing but one big piece of metal and it's very thin there's nothing underneath it there is no sand in there and when you tap it if you have a listen you'll hear just how tinny it is now a similar thing is happening all around the car with all of the large panels and because it's a utility vehicle the the rear doesn't have the window so it's just again like just sheets of metal so it, again they vibrate a lot so you do need to put sand deadening to to kind of calm it down a bit now with sand deadening there's two schools of thought one is people that will literally just coat every kind of last square meter in the sand deadening material and others will literally just put chunks of it in places and the latter is pretty much the correct way of doing it because you'll notice you only need a small amount to soak up the vibration you don't need to completely have full coverage uh, it also is very heavy stuff so if you do want to completely coat your car you are going to probably add about i reckon 50 kilograms by the time you've done especially something this size all the roof and the sides and yeah it gets quite heavy so I've chosen to put um, a lot of sand ending in the places that I, I think it will be most beneficial and a little bit less where I think it just needs to soak up the vibration. Now I chose a brand called Clarity Acoustics. It's actually really good. It's very dense, very heavy, very sticky and the stuff does work. Just make sure when you're putting it down you use a roller to flatten it out because it does need to have very good contact with the metal panel in order to absorb the vibration. So now just to demonstrate after I'd soundproofed the rear, if you have a listen now you'll notice it's not a tinny clang anymore, it's just a very dull thud. Now this particular area made a hell of a racket before it was soundproofed so it's probably the first place I'd recommend starting if you are thinking about sound deadening anywhere in your Defender you want to be looking around the, the floor area first. Now I've also done the front footwells and the rear doors. I still need to do the front doors. I haven't got around to doing them yet because I'm a bit lazy, uh, but it does make a, a big difference. And especially on the rear doors. Now, when you close them, you get like a, a quality kind of like high-end German car door closing thud. It's a lot better than the, the, what it was previously, which is like just closing a farm vehicle's door. A lot of people also do the very rear as well. They kind of strip it all out and they just coat it in the sound deadening stuff. I've done a bit of it. I've put acoustic foam, I think it's um, closed cell foam on the, the rear panels. And that again has really helped just um, quieten down the rear. Because again, previously these were just you know very thin bits of metal. So the noise was easily going to transmit through these areas. And when I can be bothered, I'm also going to change the headlining. I'm changing that probably to Alcantara. Um, and when I do somehow figure out how all that comes out, it's not difficult apparently. Um, I'm probably going to soundproof the entire roof. A good tip if you are going to do that is to um, first apply the sound deadening material Material to the, the metal and once you've done that then apply a layer of closed cell foam as well the reason for that not only does it quieten it down even further but it uh, helps with insulation uh, because in the winter months most defenders suffer from condensation on the on the inside of the windows it also helps keep the car a little bit cooler in the summer months um, when it's really hot in the uk which uh, doesn't really apply to us in that case and the uh, final icing on the cake is to sound deaden the bonnet you can get pre-cut templates uh something called an acoustic blanket i think it is an acoustic engine blanket I don't know if I'm going to bother with that, to be honest. It doesn't make that much noise. Where I'm at even now, the, the car is noticeably quieter, so I don't think I need to spend even more on um, quietening down the engine. It's not that loud anymore. So is it a good idea to sound deaden your Defender? Yes, 100%. Uh, it's made a massive difference to this one in particular, and this is like a 2012, so it's not an old car, but even then, soundproofing it does make a, a big difference. And uh, because we use this on longer trips as well, it just makes it a little bit more kind of luxurious is that the word i don't know it's just it's a more pleasant place to be when you're doing you know if you do a trip all the way down to cornwall like six hours you don't need your defenders in it's also not particularly expensive to do you can probably do the whole car for a few hundred quid if you do it yourself obviously you can get professionals to do it that's going to cost a lot more they probably do a better job mind but the result's pretty similar really i'm quite happy with you know with what i've done so i'm gonna leave the video there hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel drop a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you again soon